you had uh, this area taped off. You had a section down there. Holiday shoppers on edge after a shopping trip turns into chaos at the Lloyd Center Mall. Thanks for watching Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Police say around 5 o'clock tonight, two men entered the mall and assaulted a store employee. Well, that prompted to a manhunt and delays for nearby MAX trains. Jennifer Dallin spoke with witnesses in the area, and she joins us live with the latest. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Chris. Holiday shoppers were surrounded not only by holiday decorations, but police tape tonight. And although there was a lot of fear associated with this incident, still they say they're happy because it could have been much worse. And I said, my God, what was going on? Shoppers suddenly found themselves in the middle of a chaotic scene filled with police cruisers, fire trucks, and crime scene tape surrounding the Lloyd Center Mall. First, police say two men accused of shoplifting assaulted a Macy's employee who tried to stop them, then led police on a chase to the Lloyd Doubletree Hotel next door. Not long after, a Portland police sergeant flipped his car just about a block away. You basically had this whole alliance, every entrance uh, cut off. Could nobody get in and could nobody get out. Touche Hayes arrived just after the store clerk was assaulted. I asked the ladies over here at the local Macy's, I was like, hey, what's up? What's going on? And they ran out and they said, well, we really don't know. They got on their phones. The next thing you know, it was just cops everywhere. Witnesses told police that it started as shoplifting, but then escalated to robbery. It's, it's kind of concerning. Then at around 6 p.m., an officer reportedly asked for help with cover nearby. When a sergeant took off west on the Max tracks, he struck a pillar that divides them, flipping his car on its side, trapping him until firefighters extracted him without major injury. However, Max riders had to wait. I just walked all the way from uh, Rose Quarter. We caught up with writer Olivia Bustamante, delayed by the closure. I'm trying to get somewhere and I'm late now. However, Hayes says with all that's going on in the world. I'm just glad uh, no one got injured, no one got hurt or, or, or shot, you know, so we have to thank God for the, for the for little blessings that sometimes are real big. And we talked to two witnesses who did not want to go on camera who told us they thought they saw the shoplifter running with a stack of jeans. However, police wouldn't confirm with us tonight whether or not that was indeed part of this incident. And police also say they detained one man in this case and they're still looking for a possible second suspect. Chris, back to you. All right.